Nice little pickup for him. Canadian recognizing the player for small bank. Gonna try to hold things down. Sonic's really not too aggressive when it comes to the top floors, knowing that Dark Zero more than likely playing this horizontally on this base level right now. But they've lost two big players. Trying to pressure now. Skies with some big shots. Playing very well off this position. Constantly baited in. So many bodies around here. And this bar, so difficult to try and position around. He's gonna have it. Oh, nice shots. Able to get one drone out. But does he know he's inside the bathroom? Actually, no, Rex is gonna be down the hallway. Escaped out the back end, and JR's picked him up. They've somehow managed this down to a one versus three, almost a two versus three, but a little mistake made there. Geo to get the case down now. Sky says to go for the full rotation. He'll drop down red. Has the angle, almost has the shots. Cocktail side, we have Gunner over top with the track singers. Candela's in. Citizen's gonna make the play from white. Not a very common angle, and therefore Dark Zero probably not gonna be ready for this. Free fires in through the smoke. Citizen, he's good to see through stuns, not smokes. It's up to Skies to try and stop this now, but he's dead and gone. Sonic's completely catching Dark Zero off guard with this white play. Canadian left alone, gets a dirty, what is he? Not really too much Citizen's gonna be able to do here in Dark Zero, way too stalwart when it comes to a position like this. Not gonna try and throw away, away too many bodies. Not a line they'll cross. So, very well done from Dark Zero. Tied this up to two. Really don't know why we're not seeing Sonic try and process this top floor. Just really trusting themselves when it comes to this utility game and trying to get this execute off with some of these smoke plays. But the advantage then leans over. These swings come in once the stuns come through. Sonics have done a great job of maximizing their drones this round. They're down to two, but look at the time. The E1D off and I'll be a telltale sign for all of Dark Zero. Canadian with the big play. Pambazoo takes one down as well. Sonics, they can't find a single Dark Zero member. Somebody kill somebody. Oh no. Finally, Rexit will pick up something. He hops outside, tries to get Skies. He's going to run back into the building. Might just pre fire him on the way, but no. Frag grenades in the pocket of Gunner, and he's going to try and apply those as necessary. Rex going to take down Pambazoo. That's what we saw take down Grixer earlier. So a little revenge for his fallen comrade. Canadian's gonna take down Geo though as well. And it's a carousel on the top floor. Everybody trying to rotate around each other. Rexon with a big kill, but a pre-fire. Sky is catching two inside of Freezer. Nobody checking the position he played the last time on the Hope to establish some kind of winning angle against a few of these players, the Sonics, just like we saw from DZ back in the first half as well. More than ready to just fend this off entirely from the first floor. Sky's forced to walk through a toxic babe, loses over half of his HP in the process, but Kaveni comes out strong with an opening kill. Citizen though, the trading king is always there to try and help things out and then a dirty little pick up there against the Montane as well now that Skies was left on his own on an island. Case down onto the ground. Good trade comes in from Canadian. Panva also finding another one so it's down to only two defenders but here we go. The ace in the hole is gonna definitely send themselves into this one. Rexer to the other end of the train hatch. Does have overwatch for that sitting here on the maestro. No sign of that confident execute coming in just as of yet. And now we're gonna watch the usual rotation points. Got him with a long spray, gets the job done, but leaves a wide window open for another member of DZ to trade it back out. And in fact, all the trades are found. It falls entirely Geo. onto Geo now. Has the bottom oh. right angle here, could win it out of utility yet again. Go! On site, but I don't think the drones are looking all that great. They have two active, but more than likely going to be set up on flanks or something along those lines. Cav does have the clones, but they're going right for it. They're going to send it right in. Minimal time remaining. They know one has to be in reading, but Citizen with some big shots from down low. And JR, he has to kill three here, and the position's too strong from the Sonics. I think they've finally gotten it done on the mid-level. And JR, he shoots Citizen himself. Citizen still gets decked by Pan, but on the actual push forward, though. So the entire extension over here towards Whiskey, as well as, our, of course, our VIP side is going to be taken down. Gunner now popping open the canisters to try and delay things out a bit further. The second one being popped prematurely. Canadian and NJR ripping apart the defense irregardless, however. Leaves it all on Grixer now for the 1v5. Plenty of time as far as a 1v5 is concerned. Grixer not even... He takes down Gunnar. 25 seconds to go, mind you. Most of the oh. round time has transpired already. Gaveni with a position to leap right into it, and they certainly don't have Overwatch for him, but he doesn't know that yet, so he's gonna walk right in here. Oh, nicely done. As he nearly has to do a double take there, giving Rex the time to spin back against him, and unbeknownst to him, also knocks off half the HP from Grixer here too. Nicely done, but Grixer is able to readjust. He picks up one, Citizen has already grabbed the second Skies is all the Earth. Canadian, no more logic bombs to try and assist him. It really would have helped his teammates if he had. Sonics, he might have done it. Grixer 
Huge play here, so low HP, but it doesn't matter now. He's practically forced this overtime single-handedly just by residing inside a freezer quietly. Beautifully played by Grixer. Gives a second life now to the Sonics roster. Potentially still save this map and leave them in a good position to set up for a potential two. Losing half of his own HP as he drops down, moves forward. Still cannot get away from Skies here. It's the duel that seems destined to happen when everything is going to be said and done. So neither player can really do anything until someone else takes the next step. Deadlocked, dead heat between these two teams. Gunner throws himself into Freezer. The plant going now down for Geo. Big Nitro Cell stop it though. Rexon with a big kill. He has to try and get this case under control, but he... Inside of Custom Skies will eventually battle him out, but it's too much time been wasted in the process of killing this one player on an off-site position. Doesn't look like it here. Now the trade's starting to roll through a bit more convincingly, but Grixer still with a bunker established on the inside of Lockers. Takes down Gaveni, locks us into another 2v2. Dark Zero are split up. No confidence really to go for this one, but still gonna try and pinch things out on the inside, and it may work too. Archive's offense gets found out. Canadian now trying to work things against Grixer, but can't go any further because the Sonics are playing such an active defense right now. Just throwing themselves at the pushes from DZ. They've kept themselves one step ahead yet again. Rexon rocking a hard place, but he's making it work. Battling back, Ooh. runs into the position, and JR gets taken down. Skies have to get something done here. So little time has... Trying to open those angles into Fountain to support his teammates' push. One that is now a moot point for the reasons I stated previously. Citizen, Inchin at the opportunity to go for a swing. But given where they're at in the round, smart to hold things back here. Dude, how low this is going to be brought down now. Gunnar seals the deal on Canadian, brings it all on disguise now for the 1v3. He's going to try to make a clutch attempt out. Has that intel on Citizen, but beyond that, it's a guessing game at best for him to try and clutch this one down. And with the time now, giving us the warning there. You heard the announcer talk about it. Hey, no explosives, though, minus the breaching rounds of NJR. <laughs> Impacts and yet another angle being adopted from the Sonics. Gunner will rotate his way in towards Vents. Going to position himself very similar to what we saw from Rex and uh, the last time that they were in this position. Skies will get taken down. Gunner's going to swing, and so far, so good from the Sonics. A two versus one. A drop in on top of the case for Canadian. He can't find the player. Tries this across. Let's see if he can get him. I don't think that Gunner knows he's down here. Easy pickings from MJR. And he'll get out. Goes, tries to go back to the well there for a second. I thought he was going to stick it, but obviously not the case. Sticking, uh, speaking of sticking, looks like we're going to have the plant starting to go down. Does anyone know where it's going to be at, though? Big Nitro from Gavini will stop it in its track. Sonics now down a man, but some big kills coming through. Pambo pick up one, and Dark Zero seems like they're full bore when it comes to this round so far. I'm going to take down quite a few of the Dark Zero camp. I'm going to slow this round up as well. I don't know if Citizen, or rather Canadian, got marked there. They'll swing through. They'll definitely know his position now, though, as he pre-fires in through the bookshelf wall. NJR found out after some considerable delay and is now left down to only Canadian, way far away from the site here, playing all the way on the inside of Customs. Red and his... Certainly going to be capable of fighting and potentially trading out some of these disadvantage. All the fights if he gets that opening bullet or two, but Panda goes right back to the top hold here, drops the case for a second time. His teammate's still alive, even though we saw Grixer engage Skies a few seconds before Panba's own fight began. That ain't it, uncooked though. Gives him plenty of time to rotate around it. The wrong rate initially for it, the spray. As they can't really push towards it without risking their own lives due to the additional setup over here by Fountain. NJR decides to take a step forward now, challenge it himself. He goes down and even worse, Kiveni, who is supporting him, is eliminated also. This is not the start to this round that Dark Zero needed, and unfortunately, it's going to continue to get even worse. Gunnar with the next slap down, eliminates Canadian. Skies is the only one left here, and he'll he has no support from the main blue route, and it's way too easy of an angle for the Sonics roster to counter out. He's still all the way in the back of Oil Pit. I know he's gone now, but... He's going to give up the goods, frag grenade in. They'll definitely be aware at this moment. Some big kills here from the Sonics. Be able to equalize it now before Pambazoo pulls him back across the line. Grixer trying to deal with the position inside of Blue. How is he doing this? How does he manage it? Oh my! Once again, he did it on border. He gets it done in cash. It's blood money, baby. 
Canadian left alone here now. 1v3 was set against him. Virtually no time. This round, realistically, it is done at this point here. Sonic's going to be finally picking up. Oh, maybe one for themselves. But yeah, Canadian just no real time to make this work, unfortunately. And well, we await it as well. Stun prep for Skies. And in we go. Into Modo. Rest of the squad has to help with this. Big kills from the Sonics. Have beads on every entry point. Dark Zero, no recoil, nothing to come through. Finally, Pambazoo, but he's already dead. He's got to work his way solo. Shoots the man right in the face. Oh my. Dark Zero, Canadian, the ball's on this man. Just takes full control of Catwalk. Dark Zero, they found their goal. They're in it. Geo, the last man standing. Is it back to back flawless rounds? Give it to me. Come on, Dark Zero, give him hell. Let's have an NA Derby. The shields found him, Geo. He spins back and forth. Ha Hop out. Big kills from Pamba. Nice read from Dark Zero. Apparently they did know what was going on over inside of the billiards area. Some big kills now on the Sonic Scent Reeling. They have to try and figure this out in a three versus five. Almost a two versus five as that frag grenade attempts to find the feet of a Sonic's member. Gregster with the shot going in, pan, but to trade things back out into his own. Little guesswork going into this. Frag grenades out. And they're all going to land on deaf ears. The Sonics once again looking to take this round. Candela's in. They have to execute off of this. Skies and the rest have to go. They'll throw themselves in. Gavini with a big kill. Have they been able to find the space? Canadian, he sits at the back, but he's been gunned down by Grixer, who's prone to AK. They have everyone at the back of this able to assist. Grixer, so many angles to work. It's all left up to Gavi. And JR, though, he's recognized. They have to get aggressive. They have to make a play. Takes out the plat player. Rexon now all alone. He doesn't know if he's getting aggressive or what have you. NJR, so much heat from both angles. They know where he is now. Practically impossible to make it out of that. Rexon kills him. Gavini, the lone soul, the new member for Dark Zero. Fresh blood about to be spilt. Stuns in, and Gavini will be stun locked through the drone hole as they're constantly a solid snake works out inside of this regard. The drop from Grixer is in. Unfortunately, no support to that, though, so he's got to be a little cautious about how he tries to move this forward. We position just on the inside of Moto right now. The nade will roll out here to try and deal with the barricade. Should knock it down, but I believe they may have another one waiting in the pocket. They're not going to need it anyway. Give any with the aggressive swing. The whole team busted out here to try and shut down. You can see the black eye cam work here from MJR and Skies as well. He'll run back. Has to try and get back up the stairwell. Rex, and he's going to have the time. It's going to be up to the gunfight here. He knows he's on the stairwell. Here it comes. Rex and can't win it. Canadian gets it done. The old head once again. He just can't die. Almost year eight. He's still solving these problems. Dark Zero keep themselves in the lead with that big pickup there. Nice rebound to be seen from our defenders here. Keeps them in front. Secret. They actually might play this from upstairs as well. I don't know if there's any verticality over this position. Drone here that Canadian can find. And once again, just displaying how Solus is so incredibly good here inside their clutch. They can't even turn on cameras to try and figure out a clutch situation because Solus is still alive. Geo ready with the swing. But at the same time, you need to be cautious that he doesn't commit to it too early. There's the click. You'll have heard that around the corner. Skies, of course, the first one is a bait. Let's his teammate distract it. Skies gets the trade, though, even though Canadian goes down. Now it's the one. Angles here inside of Kitchen. And get some grenades in towards the church space as well. Sky is going to be in the exact same position we saw the Grixer the last time. Glasses on and some big kills to follow. The Sonics have to get something going here. They'll take down Sky. Some nice pressure from them. It's up to NJR to try and keep this case from going down. It's on the other side of Armory, but he doesn't know where Grixer is. The cross being covered. He finds him. He just has to sit still. Don't move from behind the box. And immediately catch the first drop as NJR is eliminated. Rest of the team to follow it forward now as they'll try to take church control. Kaveni with a good opener, but now they need to move forward and take the half bar as well. Kaveni scoring that kill as well. Beautifully done by him on the entry. Rexon did fend off some of the arsenal pressure, and now Kaveni's got to go to work excessively so. It's still trail a third kill here with the loss of Pan by being considered. Geo finally puts him down. Sky is all that remains. He at least gets the plant and is able to battle up from that, bringing it down to a 1v1. Can he maintain? Oh. For the next two minutes, clutch impact there too, saves the mirror window. And this current position from Giveni, he'll be able to still be a menace from this spot. 
Things just not looking all that great for our attackers right now. Where's the windup? Where's the big swing to get them into it? Okay, here we go. Now it's going to start to explode out onto the site. Three kills in a row. NJR finally responding with a deep hold inside of Dirt. But Jiu already with the counter for that. Beautifully played out here from the Sonics. Took us a while to get the execute into the actual site. Once they found those blue, another oil pit push that's been working out so, so well for him throughout this map. Works his way in. Citizen striking back though from the inside. And Grixer does the same. The cross against blue may very well be what sends Dark Zero down the river here, but they're not giving up just yet. Panba with another exchange set against him, and Impact does some slight damage to both Giveni and Panba. They're getting tripped up, they're getting congested. This is the problem for DZ. Now they don't have enough space to make this work, it seems. Getting themselves out to Arsenal, they'll at least start the plant, but now we're at zero time. Oh, Panba though, holding the line for the flight.